Hi, good day. Welcome to Phil Korean TV Math Corner. In this video, we will tackle the relationship of percent, fractions, ratios, and decimals. Let's know first the meaning of percent. Percent came from the Latin word percentum, which means for every hundred. Ang percent ay galing sa salitang Latin na percentum, na ang ibig sabihin ay sa bawat 100. Percent is a ratio of a number to 100. It is represented by the symbol percent. Ang percent, ito ay ratio o paghahambing ng number sa 100. At ito ay ipinapakita ng symbol na percent. Ito yung symbol na percent. Percent can also be written in ratio, decimal, and fraction. Ang percent ay pwede ring isulat sa ratio, sa decimal, at fraction. Let's see how a number is written in percent, ratio, decimal, and fraction. Example, 7%. It is in percent form. In ratio, it is written as 7 is to 100. In decimal, 7 hundredths. And in fraction form, 7 over 100. Different forms but they have the same value or they represent the same part of a whole. Now, I'll show to you how to change percent to fraction. Let's change 50% and 7% to fraction. To change percent to a fraction, remove the percent symbol and write the number as numerator. Then, 100 as denominator. Change the fraction to lowest term if possible. Sa pag-change ng percent sa fraction, ang gagawin ay tatanggalin lamang yung percent sign at isusulat yung number as numerator o yung number sa itaas ng fraction bar at lalagyan ito ng denominator na 100. Then, iriridus lamang sa lowest term if possible. Okay, let's change 50% to fraction. Just remove the percent sign and write 50 as numerator. Then, write 100 as denominator. So, the fraction form is 50 over 100. 50 over 100 or 50 hundredths can be expressed in lowest term. Because the numerator and the denominator have common factors. So, we need to divide them by their GCF. The GCF of 50 and 100 is 50. Okay, let's divide them. 50 divided by 50 equals 1. And 100 divided by 50 equals 2. The lowest term is 1 half. Therefore, 50% is one half in fraction form. Okay, i-change naman natin ang 7% sa fraction. Aalisin lamang natin ang percent sign at isusulat natin ang 7 as numerator. At lalagyan natin ito ng denominator na 100. Kaya naging 7 over 100. Ang fraction na 7 over 100 ay hindi na pwedeng i sa lowest term dahil nasa lowest term na ito. Ibig sabihin, wala nang ibang common factor ang 7 at 100 maliban sa 1. Ang 7% kapag isulat sa fraction ay 7 over 100. Now, let's change percent to decimal. To change percent to decimal, just remove the percent sign and move the decimal point two places to the left. Sa pagsulat ng percent sa decimal, aalisin lamang natin yung percent sign at imove natin yung decimal point ng dalawang ulit pakaliwa. Okay, let's write 50% in decimal. 
remove the percent sign, so the number is 50. As you can see, there is no decimal point. It is a whole number. And it is understood that the decimal point of a whole number is here. So from here, we need to move the decimal point two places to the left. One, two. Let's put the decimal point here. So in decimal, it is 50 hundredths. Okay, isulat naman natin ang 7% sa decimal. Aalisin lamang natin ang percent sign. Ang matitira ay 7. Whole number ito, kaya wala kayong nakikitang decimal point. Understood na ang decimal point nito ay dito. Galing dito, imumove natin itong decimal point ng dalawang ulit pakaliwa. 1, 2. Dito natin ilalagay ang decimal point. Ngayon, may space dito. Ang gagawin lamang natin ay lalagyan natin ng 0 as place holder. So, kapag isulat natin ang 7% sa decimal, ito ay 7 hundredths. This time, let's change percent to ratio. To change percent to ratio, remove the person sign and write 100 as the second term. Express the ratio in simplest form. Sa pagsulat ng percent sa ratio, aalisin lamang natin ang percent sign at lalagyan natin ng second term na 100. Kukopyahin lamang natin yung given number at lalagyan natin ng colon. Then, isusulat natin yung 100. Pagkatapos, isulat natin yung ratio sa simplest form. Okay, let's change 50% to ratio. Just remove the person sign so the number is 50. Then, we need to use colon because ratio is written using colon. And write 100 as a second term. So, it becomes 50 is to 100. The ratio 50 is to 100 can be expressed in simplest form by dividing the first term 50 and the second term 100 by their GCF. The GCF of 50 and 100 is 50. Okay, let's divide them. 50 divided by 50 equals 1. And 100 divided by 50 equals 2. So the first term is 1 and the second term is 2. The ratio is 1 is to 2. Ngayon naman, isulat natin ang 7% sa ratio. Aalisin lamang natin yung percent sign. Isusulat natin yung 7 as first term. At gagamit tayo ng colon. Then, isusulat natin yung 100 as second term. Therefore, ang 7% kapag isulat natin sa ratio ay 7 is to 100. I hope you learned in this video. See you next time. God bless!